Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. And in this video, I'll be featuring Eagle Moss's Nissan GTR R35. This we're going to be looking at issue number six. Now, in issue number six, we have four stages: 19, 20, 21, and 22. In this video, we'll be assembling stage 19. If you're not a current subscriber, please subscribe. And if you like this video, please hit the like. So with that, let's get started on stage 19. Welcome back. Let's look at the magazine for issue 6. And with issue 6, it covers pack 19, pack 20, pack 21, and pack 22. And we'll go take care of those in what we call stages. So this stage of the build will be pack 19, or stage 19. So we'll go ahead and look through the magazine here real quick. But before we do that, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the Eagle Moss Nissan GTR R35. It's available to USA subscribers right now, so don't uh, hesitate because before you know it, it may not be available anymore. I put a link below in the description, and that will take you right over to Eagle Moss, and they have outstanding customer service. They'll be more than happy to help you out. They're also uh, they also came out with the uh, Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters. So that's pretty cool too. So check them out over there for that kit also. As we move through the magazine, they give us the first article here, which is the 2007 Tokyo Motor Show. And uh, Tokyo Motor Show, the new Nissan GTR unveiled. So it's uh, October 24th in Tokyo when this happens. And uh, uh, Nissan had a big announcement on that car. Proceeding on, they uh, talk about the three different upgrades, amazing specs revealed at last, and also the body colors. So the color that we're building will be the ultimate metal silver. But it came in titanium gray, white pearl, ivory pearl, vibrant red, solid red, dark medium, dark metal gray, gun metallic, or super black, black obsidian. And they got different color interiors, black, gray, or even with a black and red red trim interior. I think that's pretty cool. The next article is the promoting activities and pre-post unveiling of the car. So what was going on with getting that prepped for the big show. Three pages on that. And Mechanics and Factory. So this is, the, like I was saying before, this is the most technical magazine that I've received out of all the cars I'm currently building. So with this, they give us an article inside the Yokohama plant for the GTR engine comes together. So assembling the valve train. Article on that. Moving forward, um, also, they talk a lot about the clean room and how that's very important when it comes to keeping the parts from getting contaminated with any foreign matter. And then Racing Legend always gives us an article about the race. So this right here said the secret of the Nissan GTR's phenomenal cornering at high speeds. And we get into finally stage 19 parts pack 19 so it looks like we're going to assemble with this uh, video the rear left brake disc we get uh, three steps here and then two more steps on the next page and then lastly in the magazine they give us an article on post World War II electric car the Tama ES E4S 47 1 
the Tama E4S-47 one electric car. So that's what I like too. They give us a little historical bit here with Nissan. So with that, they also give us a preview of what we get with issue 7. It looks like we're going to get the interior with that one. So let's get the parts out. Let's get this started. I'll be right back. Here's parts pack 19 and these are all the disc brake parts located inside there so I'll go ahead and take these out and we will get a closer look at them and identify the parts. I'll be right back. Here's a close-up view of the parts and all are plastic except for the brake caliper and of course the photo etch disc here. So we have brake disc hub we have the brake disc base, we have the brake disc plate, which is photo etch, we have the brake caliper, of course, we have BM screws, we have BP screws. They also gave us washer, they gave us four of these clear washers, you can just barely see them, and two of the hub caps. The other wheel cap was from a previous issue, so I just threw them all together. So they tell us to keep uh, a spare wheel cap and spare washer safe. They will be used later. Now these, these washers and the two caps were thrown in the box separately in a separate bag. So they actually weren't part of the kit. If you noticed earlier, they weren't in that, uh, in that box of parts I showed you earlier. But they're here. So let's get this started. The first three steps comprise of these disc parts here. We're going to be using BP screws for this. So what we do is we'll turn this, this disc over and we'll put the photo etch on top of it. Line it up where the holes are, just like that. And then we press fit. This cap on there. Turn it over and that's where we put our BP screw in, put the first one in, and be careful you don't over tighten them. There we go. Next step, we grab our rear suspension from issue 4, and we're going to insert the caliper right here on the knuckle base. There's two slots for it. We're going to use BM screws for that. We need to go ahead and lubricate those holes so the screws go in a lot easier. And I'm just going to use some Vaseline lip therapy on it. Just oil up those holes a little bit. Should be good. And we will put the caliper on the knuckle base. We have to take our line and put it through the chassis just like the other one. Kind of gets it out of the way. There we go. Hold that in place here. And then we can put our BM screw in. Just see right there. There you have it. And you can see my line, brake line. Need to run it over the top here. There we go. Just like that. Be right back. Our last step, step five, 
Now we put the brake disc on the wheel hub. And if you notice, we have two washers. I don't remember putting these washers on before, so I have a feeling we're going to use those other two on the other side. So we need to put those on. And they just go, they go on top of each other, just like that. And then we put our brake caliper in. And that simply slides in, just like that. And there you have it. And that's all we do for stage 19. We uh, had fun doing this. It wasn't that hard to do. It wasn't that time consuming very quickly. And uh, with that, I look forward to stage 20 because we're going to put the other wheel and tire on this. we got to assemble that in that particular stage. That's going to be another video a little bit later. I would like to thank each and every one of you for subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, hit the like, and hit the bell for all updates. If you haven't done so already, do yourself a favor. Head over to Eagle Moss and subscribe to this fantastic build. Uh, this car is, is going to be awesome. It's huge. You can see just by, the, by my hand um, how big just this rear suspension is on this. So I did put a, a link in the description below so you can get over there pretty quick and you can subscribe to it. They have fantastic customer service too. Eagle Moss is second to none. So with that, happy modeling everybody. Take care.